Well, folks, we made it. We're on the last video on the CD. And I decided to go ahead and show you how to make a before and after image, okay? Because I know a lot of you are gonna be restoring photos, retouching photos, and it would be really nice if you had an image you can print out on your printer to show people the before and after. And you'll probably wanna send this over the internet as well. So let me go ahead and show you how to create one. This is an example of what I'm talking about. You can see this is just one image, and you see a before image, and an after image, just like this, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this. Let's go ahead and start with the before image, just like this. First of all, we need to, we need to find out how large our before image is, okay? Most of the time, the, the uh, before image is the same size as the after image, so this makes it really easy. I'm gonna come right over here to the before image, and come up here to image, and come down here and select image size. And what we wanna look at here is the width. And we can see here it's approximately about 748 pixels wide, okay? The height is not that important because that'll go all by itself. I'll show you in just a second. Let's go ahead and look at the width, okay? You can actually just remember that, remember that number in your head or just use the keyboard and hold down Command C to copy that into memory, okay? And I think that's Control C on the PC. And then go ahead and just cancel out of this. Go right up here to image, down here to canvas size, okay? And what I want you to do is click over just on the left side of this anchor right here. Boom. So this means what we're telling Photoshop, we want to shift everything to the right, okay? We actually want to extend the canvas to the right, okay? And in order to do this, all we have to do is just come in here and make sure relative is checked. Okay, make sure that's checked. Come right up here to the width and enter in that number. Okay, here it is, 748. All we have to do now is just come over here and click OK, and you will see that image widen up. I wanna go ahead and just zoom out here so you can get a better look. You see that? So all we have to do now is just drag this after photo or image over to this image over here. Okay, better yet, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the after photo, go right up here to select and select all, and then come over here to edit, and then copy merge. That makes sure I get all the layers and everything, okay? I'm gonna do copy merged. And make sure, make sure you're selected, you have a layer selected when you're doing this as well. But I'm gonna select copy merge to get all the layers together. Then I'm gonna go right over to my before and after photo, I'm gonna come right up here to edit, and come right down here to paste. Okay, so all I have to do is just select the Move tool and position this right next to it, just like that. And if I like, I can go ahead and select the Crop tool on the toolbar and just select this just to crop out all the outside area, just like this. And I'll go ahead and move this up a little bit, just to right about there. There we go. And I'll go ahead and double click inside of that selection to confirm that. And there you go. We have a before and after photo. So that is how we can create before and afters in Photoshop. I had a lot of fun, and we'll see you guys on the next CD.